I'm Leroy, and you're Tiffany. I'm and Tiffany. I'm the artist, and you're the curator. That's right. Um, we talked about this many times, but um, mm -hmm. uh, the name Living in Color. Yes. I know a lot of things that, that I say are color, 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 <laughs> color. color but but uh, how yes. did you come up with the name Living in Color? Um, so I remember us going back and forth, well, at least me going back and forth for weeks about different titles, different ideas, and just what I thought the core essence of your work and your practice is. And the thing that kept coming up is color, color, how you've colored your life with all of these experiences. Your work is just so vibrant and colorful. And I think we were just on the phone, just kind of spitballing. And I think we had like live in color, in living color yeah. not the tv show the dichotomy of color yes and then we eventually were just going through talking through it and then living in color i just kind of said it and yeah. we both were like this okay. is it yeah. and i think it's just so reflective of just the liveliness of the show of how colorful the, the space feels with all the work on the walls and just reflects not just your life but your art and just the experience of living in this. Well, you know, I've always said to you, I said, I, I don't see where people say it's colorful because it's just, it's just the work. It's you just, know? yeah, and it's the just you. And I just, yeah, I just, um, I, I guess it is colorful. If everybody says it, mm -hmm. you know, but um, for me, it's, it's just the work. But behind us mm -hmm. is a painting that we've talked about. And, yes. and uh, yes. the name is uh, Butt Naked on Sunset. On sunset. And I was it's very surprised that you selected that and, and, and put it as a high priority. Yeah, um, I think it's I want you to tell us why. why. I think it just is so reflective of just the playful side of you and your work. And I think there's just a fun element to it where it incorporates some of these other themes that you see in the other works in the exhibition as far as representation and identity. But I love how this piece just kind of takes that notion and puts it in a really playful context. And it's just really fun. Um, and I just love how big and immersive it is in terms of the scale and just how it looks on the wall and fills the whole space. I just really enjoyed that. And it's it's definitely one of my favorites. Of well, it's the largest piece in here. It's yeah. actually a, a, a triptych. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's three pieces. I it's um, six feet by, um, mm -hmm. I guess it's 14 feet or 12 feet, something, something like that. Something along those yeah, lines. Yeah, so um, uh, there's a lot in it, but uh, it's, it's something that definitely you should see. And it's... Mm -hmm. um, it's reflective of a number of other pieces here mm -hmm. that um, uh, I deal with the question of um, exposing a person um, uh, by putting them in their raw mm -hmm. form, literally which is nudity, yeah. nudity, you know. Yep. So, yep. Uh, and how yeah. you don't shy away from that, you know? No, like you're, don't you know? You're just real, you know, right? So I always say that. Um, People raise questions about nudity. I said, you you walk by the statue of David in Delaware Park, and you, you go to Rome, and you see all of these fountains and all mm -hmm. of this other stuff, and mm -hmm. the Sistine Chapel, and mm -hmm. uh, you, you don't say anything about that. Right. But, uh, so don't say anything about butt naked That's on Broadway. Right. That's <laughs> or right. Broadway. <laughs> on Sunset. On Sunset. That's <laughs> but, right.